Hi YouTube. Here's a quick review video of this uh, mesh office chair by Bayside Furnishings uh, by Wallen, it says. Um, this chair uh, usually sells for about $100 at Costco. And uh, I have actually got one of these already, which I've been using for a couple of years. And uh, since my daughter needed a chair as well, um, we shopped around and really couldn't find a better deal than this. Um, the one that I picked up was actually on a special at Costco and being sold for about $70. But that's unusual for this chair. Usually they sell it for $100. Um, and for that price, this is a really good chair. Uh, I can tell you that by experience. Um, it's fully adjustable. The only color that it comes in is black mesh. Uh, but maybe on Amazon or other places, uh, they might sell it in other colors. But Costco seem to always carry the black one. Um, it's got the flip-up arms and the fully adjustable armrests as well. Um, and, you know, has um, a few other features, which we'll see in a moment. But I also wanted to show you the overall specs for the chair, because many of you might want to know, you know, what the exact dimensions of the chair are. So you can pause the video here and actually see what the, the dimensions are, um, since some of you might actually be uh, looking for that kind of info. Uh, now, on the other side, it also gives us a little bit of an understanding of the kind of uh, features you can expect from this chair. Um, so it's got flip up arms, uh, as mentioned earlier, it's got the fully adjustable armrests, um, tilt lock. So it, the chair can tilt in, in, you know, backwards and you can, you can adjust this using this lever here. Um, you have, uh, the up and down feature, so you can control the height of the chair and, uh, it's got a breathable mesh, obviously, which is part of the main draw for something like this. Um, so now let's take out the contents and take a quick look. Okay, so that is not what comes out of the box. Uh, that is actually my other chair that I've been using for a couple of years now. Um, but this is what comes out of the box. So you have the base right there. Um, you have the seat itself, um, the armrest and the back. And then this is the piece that goes um, you know, on there. So to connect these two pieces together. This is what goes at the bottom that connects the, the, the chair to the base there. These are the wheels um, that you will have to attach um, to those five uh, real, you know, ends. And uh, they also give you these tools. So there is a hex wrench and it's a nicer hex wrench because it comes with a handle. So it makes it a lot more convenient. And uh, these uh, few, um, you know, screws and bolts uh, to put it all together. And they also give you this handy dandy instruction booklet. Uh, that comes with the other kind of, kind of documentation around the whole thing. So now let's uh, try to put it together and uh, make it look like this chair here. Okay, so the first step, uh, I would say, is to take this piece, which comes out as is from the box, and uh, you basically shove this in here. And what it will do is basically this will uh, create um, the bottom. So that's the part that you're putting together. Um, so that's what it's going to look like. The second thing we got to do is to take these wheels and pop them into the base there. So let me show you how, you, how that's done. So all you're going to do is basically take this wheel. By the way, it's uh, all plastic, uh, but I think, um, you know, it's pretty firm. It's, it's pretty tough. I haven't had any problems uh, with the plastic uh, wheels um, in, a, in a while. So these, I can tell you, work pretty well. And all you're going to do is, you know, basically take this and uh, push this in. And uh, that's what I did on the other five pieces here. So that's pretty easy. So next, all you're gonna do is uh, take the seat, uh, the one that you, the part that you actually sit on, which is the other piece here, and uh, it'll have this uh, sign called front. So, you know, put it in your direction and it would say B here, uh, but take uh, this part here and it'll also say front. So you have to align the fronts together, this piece and this piece. And uh, you'll notice there are four holes here uh, and they all perfectly align uh, with these. So all you're doing is placing it on top. Um, this is very important that you look at the direction. Uh, this piece here needs to be in the direction you're gonna be seated, okay? So this, this, uh, this knob here is what is used to actually tilt and adjust the seat. So you'll notice there's got a negative and positive. So here you're tightening it and you're losing it. And uh, this is how you get the tilt uh, feature going. So all you're doing is aligning it perfectly here and uh, then tighten up 
using the the, the smaller screws um, or these bolts uh, that they give you. Uh, the other ones are much longer. These are going to be used uh, to attaching, um, you know, this with that. So that's what we will be using the big ones for. Uh, for this piece here, you will be using these small ones. So there are four of them. So let's get that done. Okay, so now that this piece is fully attached, all you got to do is, um, you know, you'll notice here, there there are a couple of grooves here. Um, this piece, this piece right here. Um, and this is, both these ends are going to, you know, go right in over here. So the best way to do this is to simply pick it up like that and uh, attach it right there. And uh, you will see that the holes are going to start lining up. And you're going to take those big bolts now and uh, start attaching them right there. So let's do that now. Okay, so we have um, all four, um, you know, in here attached. And now the base and the um, the back armrest uh, and everything uh, or the backrest is, is attached. Um, they do supply you with a couple of these extra bolts. So if you see these uh, extra, um, those are given to you in case you lose one. So, but you don't really need them. So now, uh, now it's time to put the seat back onto the, the base. So, so to this, do this part now, all we got to do is uh, pick up this piece um, and uh, essentially keep this orange part uh, on the top. And uh, this piece here is going to go in here. All right. So simply put that in. Uh, you don't need to, um, you know, push it hard or anything. As you sit on it, it's going to settle in. So that's all you're doing and your next job is to pick up the seat this hole will go right in here and i'll show you the rest of uh, the features after that okay so now i'm gonna basically take this chair and that hole that i showed you earlier is go going to go into into there so now let's put that in and it should go in fairly easy there so the armrests come pre-attached, so there's nothing for you to do there. And uh, the chair is ready to go as the other one. I don't really see a big difference in the previous model. And so this one is my older chair. This is what we assembled just now. And uh, I see really no difference. We purchased this, uh, this old one back in maybe 20... 20 like early 2020 um and this one obviously is brand new so even on the rear really no major major difference it's really the same chair so obviously the the model and, and the make has remained unaltered now telling you a little bit about the features this is what is going to help you to take the chair vertically up or down so you just hold it and you know you can adjust it that way uh, this is fully adjustable as well so you can We'll pull it up or down depending on where you feel comfortable um, and then this piece here is adjustable in this direction as well um, so depending on you know uh, how wide you need this and of course the whole thing can be taken back and pushed forward if you like these um, are made a little bit on the softer but firm side uh, so it gives you good uh, protection you know if your knees on here uh, or i'm sorry your elbows on here uh, it's going to work out just well. One of the complaints that I've seen some people complain about this chair is the tilt feature. So the chair does tilt at the back, um, you know, and to control that, obviously they have given this uh, tilt knob. Uh, you can tighten it or loosen it up uh, based on how much you need it and it'll lock there. But another thing that uh, to note here is that this uh, handle here that is supposed to take the chair vertically up and down also serves as a tilt lock so if you pull this out uh, you'll notice it uh, you know made a sound there um, it's going to enable you to tilt it back and if you push this in it's going to actually lock whatever position your chair is at in terms of the lock and if it's like somewhere halfway it can actually you know be a little wobbly uh, so either push it in or push it out completely don't leave it like in the middle um, so if you have that problem, it's probably because of because of this. And so this is not just a free play, it's actually a feature of the chair. So something to be aware of. Okay, so before I conclude the video, 
um, you know, the chair, as I said, overall, I've been very pleased with it. At this price point, what this chair offers you, I think is great value. Uh, would I recommend it? Absolutely. I wouldn't have purchased a second one if I didn't feel this way. The only part that I want to, you know, show it to you, because this is one little complaint, I guess. There's a little bit of a, I don't know if you can really see it in the video. It's firm over here, but there's a little bit of a, um, like a bulge, you know, that has formed over time. This is the only area that has this has happened. So I guess the glue in here became a little bit, you know, uneven or or came out a little bit. Um, it hasn't really been a big issue, but that's the only complaint I have had in two years of use with this chair. Uh, overall, it holds up really well. Um, but if, if, you know, I think uh, for what it is, uh, it's great value. So that's the only thing that I wanted to show it to you. Uh, but overall, the chair has, you know, of it stood uh, my my daily use, um, you know, fairly well. By the way, I am over 220 pounds in weight, uh, so it, it it you know can take some punishment. So it's not necessarily built only for kids. Uh, even a grown-up adult can sit there comfortably and work, you know, eight, nine, ten hours uh, straight without any major complaints. So that's the video. If you like this content, uh, please give me a like and uh, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.